hey yes it's been a while it's because you haven't subscribed to this channel <laughs> yes so in today's video we are going to discuss about three places that you might consider on your trip to Accra, Ghana without wasting much time Let, let's get into it so um Accra is the capital city of the Republic of Ghana a country located in the western part of Africa in case you didn't know why don't you know about where the country is located before visiting? Well, it's still a tip for you. If you didn't know, in Ghana we have 16 regions. But in this video, we are going to talk about three places in only one region, which is the capital city. This video might be important to you in case you have been looking for some leisure time or a place to have a cool, relaxing time or to you know discover new places then this video is for you you need to watch this video to know the places that i'll be mentioning in this video you do need to watch this video and also subscribe don't do that subscribe first on my list is Kwame Nkuma Museum so Kwame Nkuma Museum also known as Kwame Nkuma Memorial Park was established on 1st July 1992 in dedication of Asaji for Dr. Kwame Nkuma. If you don't know who this person is, Dr. Kwame Nkuma is. Who is Dr. Kwame Nkuma? Dr. Kwame Nkuma was a politician. He's the one that saved Ghana from Corona rule. Okay, so let's move on. This place was dedicated to Asadi Fula Takam Kuma for his excellence in campaigning to liberate Ghana, then known Good Coast. Also, Good Coast was Ghana. Thus, Ghana is the new name of Good Coast by gaining independence. So, Takam Kuma helped him gain independence for Ghana or for Good Coast. And the museum is also the last resting place for Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. The Dr. Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park can be located in downtown Accra, opposite to the old parliament house, currently known as the Commission for Human Rights Administration Justice Charge. Opening hours start start at exactly 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. every weekday. Opening hours for weekends might differ. Why come to my Why, why, why not play a play game? Why not a forest hotel? Why not a blue? But come to my museum. Let's find out. We put come to my museum. I put you know, this is from our website. Now let's go. I put, I put Kwame Nkrumah Museum Memorial Park first on this list due to the history of the country and its historical items found there. When you visit Kwame Nkrumah Museum, you can learn everything about the country Ghana. Everything, including myself. Kwame no, no, but that's misinformation. You can only learn about the history about Ghana as the Kwame Nkrumah Museum. First, when you enter the museum, you will see Osaji Ford. That's a Kwame Nkrumah statue. Not him because he's dead. Yeah. And also, you know, there were a team, so we call them Big Six. I think also part of No, they are called the Big Six. Yeah, you see pictures and other items revolving them. Without wasting my time, but you, you do need to visit Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park. It holds a whole lot of history, a whole lot of. Even if you're a Ghanaian, you need to visit there. Like, I don't understand why you're in Accra, but you don't know Kwame Nkrumah Museum. Anyway, this is for everyone. Moving on number two on this list is Accra Zoo. <laughs> yes, you do need to see the animals at the zoo. Monkeys. You know, I hear people saying blacks look like a blacks looks like a monkey. Master, you do need to visit the Accra Zoo. It is located in Achimota Forest near the Achimota College at Accra. The zoo, the zoo was built in the year 1990. 
The zoo was built in the year 1961 by the first president of Ghana. Who? Dr. Kwame Nkrumah again. Yes. So, before you visit the zoo, you need to visit Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park. So, you know about this person that you are visiting his places built. Accra Zoo is currently under the management of the Wildlife Division of the Forestry Commission under the Ministry of Lands and Forestry. Well, I laugh for a reason because some few years or months ago there was this controversy about someone giving that place to, but we are not here for politics. So, moving on, the zoo officials require an entry free as usual. So. Um, you just need to pay some small fee like 10 CDs or 20 CDs to enter to have a very full leisure time for yourself or for you and your family. You can't even send your. There, there. Gary, forget about it. But concerning the fee, the last time that I checked, for students, they are required to pay like 4 CDs, and for adults, they are required to pay like 5 CDs, and for grown ups, they are required to pay like 10 CDs. And for non ghanian citizens, they are required to pay like 20 cities, which is less than $2. The last place on my list is a brief botanical gardens. Oh, I love this place. You might also love it, and you will love this place if you visit there. This place is also known as a brief gardens for short. It is located in a brief in the eastern region of South Ghana. Oh, I said I'm only going to talk about it. Well, it's a bonus. Though a big garden isn't located in the center of Accra, I suggest you might love to spend your leisure abroad at a big inn. It is a place where natural resources such as trees, waterfall, animals, and so on are available there for you to visit. The garden occupies an area of 61.8 acres. It was built in March 1890. You were not even there, so you need to visit there. Yeah. And, and it was established by Governor William Branford, not Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Yeah. Without wasting my time, the opening hours for a brick garden is from 8 a.m. and closes at 5 p.m. GMT. I hope you visit all these places and give me feedback when you are done visiting them. And thank me later, but you have to subscribe. If you don't subscribe, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave you here because you need to subscribe. Go. See you. Uh, okay, so if you subscribe, then you see me later on. Okay.